Hey guys, I'm Bryce with Phytech, and this week on Tech Tuesday, we're gonna show you the setup of the nitrous features on our power adder systems. Right here, we have our Go EFI 8 1200 horsepower system with the power adder. So we're gonna show you the connections of the nitrous and how to tune it in the handheld. We have our Go EFI 8 power adder hooked up. We got our nitrous connection hooked up. It's also in the box. And there's two special wires that we wanna focus on. We got nitrous in and nitrous out. Nitrous in is our arm switch. So if you have a switch on the dash that you wanna flick to arm the whole system, that's this piece right here and you wanna feed 12 volts into it. And then our nitrous out this wire is our output wire that will run to a relay to trigger the solenoids for the nitrous. So we'll hook up our nitrous in to 12 volts. I got a 12 volt lead right here. So that's our arm. And then our nitrous out, for demonstration purposes, we got a test light here. I'll set our test light down. We'll hook up our negative side. And we'll Push it out of the way so nothing's touching. Got our light right there. And then our other side of our relay, which would be 12 volts, will hook up. So when we power on the system, now that we have our system hooked up and powered on in our handheld, we're gonna go to set up the nitrous, but first we need to turn on the selection. So first we're gonna go to display setup. And as a quick little tip, we have a pro tuning section in here. So in the pro tuning, if we hit it to show, that's a more detailed setup where you can do additional tuning in that's even further and more in depth than the Go EFI tuning section. But further down, we also have our N2O calibration. We wanna set that one to show. We'll go back and now we have our Go N2O tuning setup. In the setup menu, we have a few different options, but to do our initial setup, we want to go to the driver enable, turn it on, send it to the ECU, and then the second one, our enable option, we also want to enable the nitrous. So that is the basic setup to get it to turn on. For our nitrous signal input, we have option high or low. This is for our white wire, the nitrous in, if you have it set to high like we do, you wanna hook it up to 12 volts. When the system sees 12 volts, it turns on the nitrous uh, section and waits for all the window switching to enable the nitrous. So that would be your arm switch as a high. If you go to low, that would be a ground. So your arm switch would be a grounding input. But we're gonna leave it at high. We're gonna make sure that's sent to ECU. And now we're gonna start going through our menu options. <coughs> So our nitrous window selections has a bunch of different features to it. The very first one is lean disable time. So it's time in milliseconds that the system has to be lean for it to shut off the nitrous. So we're at 500 milliseconds on that. And it's based upon an air fuel ratio. So right now it's set to 14.2. You could lower this down to 12 uh, 11.9, somewhere around there would definitely be a better option. But for our testing purposes, we're gonna stay up at about 14.2 so we can demonstrate how the system works. The next one is AFR check delay, which is after the nitrous is turned on, a few moments of time to allow the air fuel ratio to drop to where it needs to be. So this is set to 1,000 milliseconds. If it doesn't get into range within that time, it'll, it'll shut the nitrous off. We have our nitrous rearm TPS, which is the nitrous will be disabled from being too lean if the throttle is closed beyond this point. Our nitrous minimum, so it has to hit this minimum throttle position of 77% to turn the nitrous on. Then we also have temperature. So we have a minimum and maximum temperature. So if the engine's in between 78.8 degrees and 239 degrees, it'll allow the nitrous to turn on. 
There's a max RPM, so if the engine revs past 6,000 RPM, it'll shut the nitrous off. If um, there's a minimum RPM, whereas the system has to see 4,000 RPM to turn the nitrous on. Our next input is RPM hysteresis. This is a setting that allows the system to acknowledge an RPM swing to where it won't turn on or off the nitrous if it's right on the threshold of turning on. So if you have nitrous on at 4,000 and you're fluttering between 4,000 and 4,100, it won't turn on because it needs 200 RPM variance. So if we go up to 42 or 4,300, then it will full on turn on the nitrous. The next one is our gear shift time. Our gear shift time is the system, once it hits a max RPM, keeps the nitrous off for 600 milliseconds to allow the gear shift change to establish before it turns the nitrous back on. If we go back one menu, our next section is N2O fuel. This one's our initial stage of fuel correction. So if the nitrous turns on and it doesn't go down to your target, which is the one below it, quick enough, you could adjust your fueling right away right here. Then our nitrous AFR target is, it's gonna target 12 to one air fuel ratio. So all of these again can be changed and whatever you want it to be, you hit send to ECU and it will try to target that air fuel ratio. Our next menu is nitrous spark. So if you're using the timing control feature in the system, it allows you to retard the timing when nitrous is engaged by whatever degrees you have in here. So if your timing calls for 30 degrees usually and you have negative 10, when nitrous is on, it'll give 20 degrees of timing. So let's power this thing on and show you how the system works with uh, turning the nitrous on and off. So we have the system set up here and I have a couple of window switch criteria that need to be met before the nitrous will turn on. One of them is the throttle position needs to be greater than 60% to turn on. Coolant temperature has to be higher than 80 degrees and RPM needs to be higher than 2000 RPM for the system to turn on the nitrous. The last one is our air fuel ratio. If air fuel ratio doesn't come down after that 500 milliseconds, it'll shut the nitrous off. So to prove this to you and show you kind of how it works, our coolant temperature is at 78 degrees. We can go to an RPM just above 2000 and we'll increase the throttle position to 60% or more and our light never came on. But if I take our coolant temperature sensor and we increase the temperature of it up to 80 degrees, I can now go up to 60% throttle. The nitrous will turn on, but because our air fuel ratio didn't come down, it shut it off right away. So if I false read the oxygen sensor down to a rich air fuel ratio and then open it up, our nitrous will now stay on until you let off the throttle and it shuts back off. Now, if the RPMs go up too high, the nitrous will not turn on. But then we go back into the window, we'll turn the nitrous on, but it will shut off because our air fuel ratio is too lean. So there you have it. That is how you set up the nitrous circuit on all of the Phytech EFI power adder setups. We used the test light to verify how the system works and when the test light lit up, the nitrous was armed. Not only is this a good diagnostics tool, but it's also a way for you to verify that the system is working the way that it's intended. If you have any additional questions in regards to the nitrous setup, please comment them down below. If you have suggestions on next week's video, also comment that down below.